Yeah, welcome to my channel. Thanks for visiting. Remember to subscribe, sharing all my presentations and listening to this very one. Well. Today is all about one medication known as lacosamide. Lacosamide. Have you heard about that before or you use it in the past or you are near right now? Don't worry. In a bit, we will know more about lacosamide. Please, let's take note of the following before diving deeper into lacosamide. Number one, take this medication as being prescribed by a physician only, please. And please don't give this medication to your friend or family member, thinking that he or she is having similar symptoms and then can just use it. No, please. This medication can be abused, so you can see the reason why I'm counseling against sharing it with people or taking it indiscriminately, and it can also lead to dependency. It is not good for younger people, anyone younger than 17 years. In fact, some literature will put it anyone younger than 18. So, anyone having similar symptoms as you do, should just walk to his or her own physician. You don't you know, become a pharmacist or a doctor of your own, giving it to people around or taking it indiscriminately. And please don't stop this medication cold turkey, meaning don't stop it suddenly. No, we have to stop it gradually. It's gonna take one to two weeks. Why that? You will know in a bit. Now, lacosamide could come under different brand names. Could be Vempas, or Apple, lacosamide, Aro, lacosamide, Ma, lacosamide, Me, lacosamide, Sandals, lacosamide. Also, could be Teva, lacosamide, Copini, lacosamide, Pedro, lacosa, or lacovim. It belongs to the class of medications known as anti-epileptic drops or anti-convulsants. can come in various forms, the form of solution for intravenous use. In that case, could be Vimpar 200 mg per 20 ml, or solution for per oral use. That could be Vimpar 10 mg per ml, or in form of tablet for per oral use. That could be Vimpad or generic, at different strengths of 50, 100, 150, or 200 milligrams. Administration. IV bolus could be given at 80 milligrams per minute for five minutes, meaning you can target 400 milligrams undiluted. Depending on the dose you have targeted to give anyways, but don't rush it. If you are given in intravenously by infusion, uh, you should give that very slowly, please, over 30 to 60 minutes. To be given with intravenous free like lingers lactate, normal saline, or D5 water. The tablet form is to be swallowed whole. When you give the power solution or the tablet, Please, you may choose to give it with or without food, and you can give it through syringe, as a gas tube, or percutaneous endoscopic gastrotomy tube, PEG tube. Mechanism of action. Lycosamide can enhance the slow inactivation of sodium channels with no effect on the fast inactivation of sodium channels. With that, it can stabilize the upper excitable neuronal membranes and also inhibit repetitive neuronal firing. How can we monitor lacosamine? Grab your EKG, if you are in North America, ECG in Europe. Place the patient on suicide watch. Now tell the relatives, family members to keep an eye. 
the therapeutic range is 1 to 10 microgram per mil or 2.66 to 26.6 micromole per liter. You should draw a sample just before the next dose or truck uses in focal or partial scissors, primary generalized tonic clonic scissors, in diabetic mellitus neuropathic pain, we use the cosamide. But there are all liver uses as well, like in obsessive compulsive disorders, in panic attack, in cocaine addiction, bipolar disorders, headache, dementia, ECOS, tinnitus, including restless leg syndrome, and so on. Contraindications. This is when and where we cannot use lacosamine. In anyone that is as sensitive to lacosamine, lacosamine will be off the table today. In anyone diagnosed or known to have second degree or third degree heart block, no lacosamine. In liver impairment or renal failure, no lacosamine. We will not give lacosamine in anyone with depression, anxiety, or already suicidal. Why that? We will know by the time we reach warning session. Because lacosamine on its own can lead to suicide, attempted suicide, or suicidal ideation. In anyone with the tendency to abuse drug or history of drug abuse, will not use lacosamide. Why that? Lacosamide on its own could be abused. Drug drug interaction. The list is pretty long. I may not be able to say precisely which medication you may use now or use in future. So I'm going to leave that to your pharmacist or your clinical pharmacologist. Please have that conversation with them on drug-drug interaction. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. It can affect the green fetus. In some literature, it's placed as you now category C, meaning you may use it, but you use it with extreme caution. But I won't even use it and it can be present in breast milk. Some literature will say they are not sure if it is present in breast milk. Well, if that is the case, if the woman is pregnant or breastfeeding, I would rather go for alternative. Adverse reactions, can be nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. There may be dizziness, and that's why the physician may advise that you don't embark on activities that will require alertness. A granulocytosis, absensitivity reactions, and maybe first degree heart block. Although this is not scary, but it is noteworthy that anyone with heart disease, then you be extremely careful. Maybe euphoria, dysarthria, confusion, acute psychosis with aggression, or cerebellar syndrome. Still on adverse reactions, there may be gait anomaly, insomnia, hallucinations, blood vision on nystagmus, and pruritus. Lastly, on adverse reactions, there may be anemia, fever, or tinnitus. Now, warning. This is looking pretty good, but the warnings are not looking pretty good. We have to take so many things into consideration and be extremely careful so that we don't add no sort of injury. We should know that there may be suicidal addiction or attempted suicide. So an eye should be on anyone taking this medication and that should be discussed with the family members, the friends, the close ones or you no. Know, Health caregivers around them while they're on this medication. Suicide is a possibility. We have to be careful in anyone with heart related disease or diseases. And why is that? 
It can cause prolonged QT that will lead to Tosadi point. Tosadi point can go down the hill to become ventricular arrhythmia, like ventricular tachycardia that will initially be monomorphic, and later on become polymorphic, and then degenerate to ventricular fibrillation. If there is no defibrillation on time, that can degenerate to asystole, and without advanced cardiac life support being instituted on time, that can lead to death. Also, bradyarrhythmia arrhythmia and heart block. The central nervous system. Here we should remember that anyone on lacosamine can have dizziness and ataxia. Therefore, he or she should not be performing activities that will require alertness. There may be drug reaction, isnophilia, and systemic symptoms. In liver failure, we should not give lacosamine. In renal failure, we should be extremely careful. When trying to stop lacosamine, no cold turkey stoppage, please. It should be stopped gradually over one to two weeks. Sudden so stoppage will lead to what? Will lead to increased likelihood of seizures and my even precipitate status epilepticus. With that, I've come to the end of this short presentation on lacosamine, a good medication, but we need to be pretty careful. Thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to share this representation. I appreciate it.